We have all seen the interstellar section in KSB2 roadmap, as it will be an individual update. In this video we will be talking about the potential of interstellar travel in the game KSB2. We can see some details on the roadmap about interstellar, new star system, and interstellar parts. I have another video on explaining colonies update. If you are curious about that, this is second video in the explaining KSB2 roadmap series. So in the update we will get a new star system, one that we already have and in another one. That's cool. And interstellar parts, like of course, to go to that star system we will need some new special parts. Now let me break this down. What is a star system? According to the internet a star system is a collection of stars orbiting each other by a gravitational force, and a large group of stars bound by gravitation is generally called a star cluster or galaxy. We have seen this already in the cinematic trailer. Star system will be called Deb Deb. Now let's make some predictions for this update, referring to the colonies update. We will be able to make stationary and orbiting colonies on the planet and moons of this solar system. This will make a lot of room to explore and playable content for the game. This provides game with a mystery to visit every planet. KSB1 had only one star system. In KSB2 we might have many, because one we will get an interstellar update, and other one an exploration update. I guess the exploration star system will be a galaxy. Means a lot bigger than what we already have. This star system can include of all type of stars and planets. Like gas giants, rocky planets, dwarf planets, asteroids, water giants, and many more. Some will be in creative creation of the developers. These star system will be very far from Kerbin. I have spotted a time warp option of 10,000 X in game. So we will be traveling light years I guess to visit these stars. Talking about the variation of the stars, I think they should make an option for player to enable. While making a new game, enabling it will make a random seed. Creation of the star system will depend on the seed. This is called procedural generation. If you have played Minecraft you will understand this better. Using a seed, game will produce a lot of randomized numbers. Factors of the planet creation as such as size, color and terrain function, so every planet will The interstellar section of the KSB2 roadmap outlines the upcoming features that will be added to the game in the interstellar update. This update will introduce new technologies and gameplay mechanics that allow players to explore the depths of space and travel to distant planets and stars. Interstellar navigation. They might also add new navigation tools that allow players to chart courses through interstellar space. Advanced propulsion systems. The interstellar update should add new types of propulsion systems to the game, including nuclear thermal engines and fusion reactors. And we have seen some hints in cinematic trailers. These new technologies will allow players to travel faster and farther than ever before. Overall, the interstellar update promises to expand the scope and depth of KSB2's gameplay, offering players new challenges and exciting new opportunities for exploration and discovery. Different and the vibes of each planet will different and exciting. I hope I am making sense to you. Now let's talk about the interstellar parts. This is an interesting topic. Traveling to these far located star systems, we need some new parts. This was shown in the cinematic trailer. I am not sure about what this is. This looks like all the parts we already have, and maybe some new fuel tanks. But this looks like an interplanetary travel ship. This is another image from trailer in which we can see some colony structure parts. Here are some lava planets, the way it releasing. Six landers at once, man that is cool. We can do this in multiplayer update, releasing from a big ship with your friends an individual lander to explore on your own to find a location to build a colony. Finally, we have some leaks on the interstellar part. That looks cool, wow. Artificial gravity will be a thing in upcoming updates. We can see some huge fuel tanks, a big heat shield, many lander ready. I think those are engines. Or is it a stable diffuser to power the rocket? Hefty antennas, and some interior parts for Kerbals to live in. That is a big engine. And we can see a huge galaxy in the back. Basically we are getting a lot of planets to explore. Man that's a lot to comprehend. In this trailer they teased Colonies Update and Interstellar Travel Update, 
If you remember we had only one solar system and some planets in original case B, going from that to this is shows the effort of 12 years. This game has been in development for years and still is, but the level of content they are bringing in is levels. I would like if we get a new mineable material that can be used as a super efficient and rare fuel for selective engines, similar to dark matter, that can push us through galaxies. Am I asking for too much? Probably not. More mining talk we'll see in the exploration section explaining video. It will be next in this series, with a proper voiceover. Being a game dev I will try to make KSP2 mods, some new parts mods, comment what parts you want. I might make them and showcase them on the video. If you like the video please leave like and subscribe with notifications, and comment what you will do with the interstellar parts.